Are you the kind of Christian that people aspire to be? I know that sounds like a silly question, but you know, some of us, I've had times in my life when I can look back and I can remember things that I did that maybe they didn't show that. Times when I allowed my emotions to get in the way or I wasn't the um, strong Christian that I should have been. And so I think it's very important that we sometimes just look inside of ourselves and ask ourselves, what is it that we do that honors God? And how do other people see us? Are we setting a good example? You know, just the fact that we say, I'm a Christian or I go to church, you know, that should, that should say something to people. But if you say that, and then you don't act that way, there's been a lot of bad things that have been looked at about Christianity over the years because people are being known to be judgmental, harsh, um, unfeeling, um, but especially that judgmental thing where um, they'll say, well, you know, you say that you're, you love, but yet you judge others and you put people down. So how do, we, how do we see that? Why is it that people see us that way sometimes? Well, if we say, for instance, that we've got maybe one of those little fish on the back of the car, uh, and then we're honking at everybody, or we're pulling out in front of people, or we're speeding down the road, those are just little examples of how, as Christians, we're not setting a good example for Christ and we're not acting like a Christian. And so it's really important that we remember that, you know, judging others, talking about people at the cooler, um, gossiping, doing things that are, are unchristian like that is how we get a bad reputation. So how do we overcome that? Well, I like to think of it this way, that, you know, as long as I've got love in my heart and I understand that I'm not perfect too and that I'm a sinner and that I make mistakes. When I go to pull out in, in, in traffic and somebody pulls in front of me, instead of getting angry and, and acting out, you know, I need to remember that I probably did that sometime to somebody too innocently and didn't mean to do it and instead pray for them that they have a safe trip. And just little things like that, that, you know, we don't give enough credence to. But, you know, I, I always like to talk to everyone uh, when I do these videos, just talk to you like, like another, your sister in Christ, because that's who I am. I'm somebody who just knows that, you know, we just need somebody to talk straight with us once in a while and remind us that God is always with us and we're always setting an example. I always, I've made some people chuckle because I used to be in housekeeping and I'd go and clean these people's homes and there was this couple and they had this beautiful house and every week I would go there and the house would be clean and neat and, and I was getting paid to do it. So I would, I would be so serious about it that I knew that, you know, God was watching me even though somebody else wasn't. So that example for me was, and you're gonna laugh at me, but they had this one family room that they hardly ever went in. And you could tell because I'd vacuum it and you could see all the marks and there wasn't even a footprint in it. So I'd go the next time and I'd vacuum it in the other direction because I wanted in my heart, I knew that they, somebody was gonna see that. And if nobody did, at least God knew that I had done the job that I was supposed to. So it's things like this that are really important. In our hearts, how we really believe that God sees us, not just everybody else, not the rest of the world, but yet how important is it that we really set that good example for others? I mean, our own children. You know, are we going to church and, and, and praying and singing worship songs and stuff and then arguing with our family members right after on the way home. Um, I've heard that said in church and I'm like, you know, that's really sad. You know, we're supposed to be 
loving and kind to one another. And, and sometimes it's not easy. Yeah, we have bad days or, and that, but you know, that's when we pray and we, we go to God and we ask him to give us that ability to be more compassionate and, and to help us through those moments of frustration. So I just ask that you, you just start thinking about those things. I used to say to myself, if I was having a bad day and I'd go to work and we've all had it, we've had a day when we were not feeling good, maybe physically really not feeling good or got something really sad or heavy on our hearts. And, and we'd go to work and, and it would be real easy to just sort of slack off and not do that much. But I used to say to myself, you've got to do this as if you were doing it for the king. And that's what we have to remember, is that if we act out in our lives, like Jesus is standing there watching, because he really is, in our hearts, and we know that, if we just act that way and we remember that, we keep that at the forefront of our minds when we start getting upset at somebody or angry, to recompose ourselves, you know, that's very important. So just remember that, you know, what you do and how you act speaks very highly of whether you are judgmental or you're a loving Christian and someone who stops and thinks about what they do first. So God bless you and I hope you have a great day.